these words in this Bible, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel, all Israel, no other nations. Deuteronomy 76. And so you need to know today, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are those people that Moses was talking to in the Bible. You are that special people that Moses was talking to. How you doing, sis? Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Because what we had to do is let you know that you are God's chosen people, that you are the greatest people God ever created on this earth. And so uh, one question I have, what we like to ask, um, what would your nationality be? I'm Hispanic, she's black. Hispanic and black, she's right? my granddaughter, I'm her grandma. Hispanic mean, do you know what the, what the, what the mean, the I'm word not, Hispanic means? Um, they gave us a lot of names, but I'm Mexican. Mexican, okay, come check this out. We got a sign right here. Because Hispanic just means property in Spain, Mexican means mixed people, exactly. black I'm is a color in a crayon I mean, box. I came from Spain, you know what I mean? So, no, you, as far as some my people color come eyes from. And, and my complexion and stuff, my high cheekbones. You know what Mexican means? Mixed people. So, the indigenous people here mix with the people from Spain, but everybody's yeah, exactly. not from Spain. Yeah, exactly. So, check this sign out. Could you say that you're a Mexican? You said well, your daughter's I mean, black know, or your I granddaughter's. Know that our heritage comes from Spain. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to show you where your heritage originally comes from. Watch this. Okay, so check this sign out, right? So you said you're Mexican, right? Right down here. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. This is what God called us, and this is what the other nations called us. Right here, the tribe of Issachar, that's what the so-called Mexican, Aztecs, all that. That's the, it's the tribe of Issachar. And I'm going to prove that to you in the Bible. You said your granddaughter is black, right? Black, right here, American black, that's Judah. That's the tribe that Christ came from. So we got to get back to our original heritage because we get stuck in the heritage that they gave us and we say, oh, this is our heritage. No, your heritage is this Bible and I'm going to show you that. Watch. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. And give me two, give me go. First, let me show you Deuteronomy 76. I'm going to show you how God feels about the Israelites and then I'm going to show you that you are an Israelite. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So, he said the children of Israel are a holy people to the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He said you are a special people. God chose the children of Israel to be a special people unto himself. Watch this. Above. No, equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Most High God chose the children of Israel, which is the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to be a special people above all people on the face of the earth. But if you look at our people right now, are we above all people? We're at the bottom, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Let me show you why we're at the bottom and how this is going to prove to you that we are the people of the book. Are you listening to it? Watch this. Um, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, so it shall come to pass. In the future, you remember this is thousands of years ago when Moses said this. So he said, in the future, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he says to listen to the to commandments. That's how you listen to the voice. The voice of the Lord thy God is this Bible. And the Bible is the book of the commandments. So he said, if you don't listen to the Lord thy God to follow the laws in this Bible, what's going to happen? And all these curses shall come up on thee and overtake thee. Uh, uh, what's your name, sister? I'm sorry. April. April? Mm -hmm. Zaniah. Zaniah? Zaniah. Zaniah, okay. April and Zaniah. April. Are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. It's a bad thing, right? So God's talking to the, Moses is talking to the children of Israel. He said, if you don't keep these commandments, bad things are going to happen to you, right? Watch this. Read 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city says, curse shall thou be in the city. We live in Nova, Texas. Anywhere you go in the world, if you want to find out where the slums at, the barrio, the ghetto, who do you look for? What people do you look for to find the ghetto? For us, right? The so-called blacks and native men. You don't look for white people. You don't go to white hood neighborhoods and be like, oh, this the hood. You go to the, uh, the ghettos where the black Hispanics and Native Americans at. But God said that's where the children of Israel is going to be. Watch this. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. And it says, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. When we Back in slavery, who was picking cotton in the fields? Even today in California, who's picking the fruits and nuts and berries and not making the money off of it? But God said that's going to happen to the Israelites, right? Uh, give me 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Sons and daughters give it to another people. In slavery, did that not happen to our people? 
and the, they split the families up and this family, this, the daughter went this way, the mother went that way. Um, Christopher Columbus, when he came over here, he did the same thing to the people over here. Um, and he was like, he was a Spaniard, the so-called Hispanic. That's where the name Hispanic come from, because you were property of them, yeah. the conquerors, so it right? So takes away from who I really am. Yeah, you really are the children of Israel. That's what we're proving to you with this Bible, because yeah. God, Moses said this was going to happen to Israel, and yeah. this happened to us, right? Yeah. right? And then you um, look at um, going off his sons and daughters being taken. What's going on at the border right now? Exactly. With ICE, they okay. taking people's kids. Yeah. And um, why well, hold up? We finish that. Finish that. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And what that means, you're going to be sitting there crying all the day. The people who get their kids took, what do they do? they just crying, right? Why? And there shall be no might in thine hand. Do we have the might to go get our kids back from the border? There's nothing we can do about it, right? If CPS comes and take your kid right now, do you have the might to go get your kids back? No. And that's because... God, Moses said, if you don't listen to these commandments, this is what's going to happen. Give me 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. The day right here is talking about the curses, right? It says these curses shall be upon thee for a sign. For a sign. What does a sign do? It lets you know something. It shows you something, right? Watch this. That's so right. these curses are going to show you who the children of Israel are. Read. For a sign and for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. Do you know what a seed is? The seed of man is what? Your kids, right? So these signs are going to be upon your, your kids forever. And if you still look around, the signs are still going on. Remember, this was wrote thousands of years ago. But it's talking about what's going on today. Keep reading. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So serving the Lord with gladness and joy joyfulness would be keeping these commandments. You remember he said we are supposed to be above all people. But since we broke the commandments, we got the curses. So since we didn't want to serve him for the abundance, he, he made the whole world for us. The world was made for you. The world was made for me. But since we don't want to keep the commandments, we wind up in these situations right here. You know what I'm saying? So he said that since we didn't want to serve the Lord for the abundance of all things, what's going to happen? Verse 48, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So he says we're going to serve our enemies. So who are we serving today? The laws. The, 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 the Spanish, the, the Spain, the, 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 the property Trump. of Spain and all that, Trump. What race of people is he? What, what? what race of people do we, what, what, what race of people rules the United States? Right. Exactly. Yes, but what did God say? Start from the top again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God has let us know that those are our enemies and he sent them against us. Why did he send them against us? Because we didn't keep his commandments, right? Watch this. Is hunger? And hunger. Whenever you get hungry and you want some food, where do you get your food from? Do you buy it from your own people? You go to the store. We got Amigos over here, yeah. United. You got a, who owns wherever those stores? We can go, wherever. These are the enemies of God. So what are they doing in these, these things? Read. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And it's letting you know that the enemies hate God. You know what I'm saying? So they hate God and they lifted up their head. They walk around with the chest puffed out. They put the, all these people in slavery and make you celebrate their holidays. That's they, they head is lifted up. They feel like we are God, right? But these are the enemies of God, right? We, and excuse me, they have taken crafty counsel. Crafty counsel. That means that they came together and they took counsel to trick. It's, this is a, a, a trick. Crafty means trick. To ma a manipulator, right? Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against who? Against thy people. We are the people. Who are the people of God? Who people. was Moses talking to? Israelites, right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And consulted against thy hidden one. And we are the hidden ones because our nationality has been hidden from yeah. us. We don't know who we are. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So they cut off our heritage, our traditions and all that, they cut that off. They said, let us cut off from being a nation. That's why you think you Mexican or Hispanic when we we say we're black and yeah. African-American. African was they, African-American was they not the two white people. We still, we still the, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American, we are all one nation of people, but they came and cut us off from being that nation, read. That the name of Israel the name of Israel, the 12 tribes, these people on this chart, what's going to happen? Maybe no more in remembrance. 
So they did that so that the name of Israel would no longer be in remembrance. You'll walk around calling yourself a Mexican. I'll walk around calling myself black. You know what I'm saying? But is there was a there was the council that they did against us to let, to take you away from being yeah. the children of God, from knowing that you are the children of Israel. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. And so that's why we out here showing our people the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We got to get back to keeping these commandments because God God made some promises for us if we do keep His commandments. I showed you some curses that happen for us not keeping the commandments. Watch what God says He'll do if we do keep the commandments. Read. Okay, one. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 And it shall come to pass If thou shalt hearken Remember it, it shall come to pass It's wrote 2,000 years ago So in the future if you will hearken Diligently Unto the voice of the Lord thy God To observe and to do All his commandments So you remember the voice of the Lord thy God Is this Bible so he said if you It will come to pass in the future if you do listen to The commandments that's in this Bible what's going to happen Which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And so that's how we get that promise in Deuteronomy 76 if we come back to keeping these commandments. But the problem with our people is we don't keep the commandments and the churches have been failing us and not teaching us the commandments. You go to church and they don't teach the commandments. You know what I'm saying? And so watch this. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Watch this. It's a, well, give me First Timothy 29. It's some things that we have to work on individually so that the nation can do better, right? Uh, watch this. This is one that you may not have known about. But today we are here to teach you how to get this kingdom because you want the kingdom, right? We don't want to be under the curses no more, right? And so it's things that we got to do. Watch this. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it, God, this Bible guys, our, our dietary laws. It got our dress code. It has all of that in it. Watch this. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel so it says women supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel what would you consider to be modest apparel are you would you say that you are modestly dressed today i feel like i am but they weather and stuff i don't know <laughs> watch this uh give me deuteronomy 20 to 5. i'm gonna show you uh one of the ways that the woman is supposed to be modestly dressed watch this because that's the mind frame because like a lot of our stuff we have in our mind is that's why i feel i feel i feel but we don't go off of what we feel we read the bible and we let the bible tell us how to feel yeah we'll look it up watch this the book of deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man so it says a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. What do women wear that pertains to a man? Clothes, I don't know. A, a beard? <laughs> Watch this, son. Keep reading the second part of the text. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What garments do um, does a, do men wear that supposed to be for women? Bras. I don't know. Dresses, Dresses. right? And so go back to the front part, right? Verse, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what article of clothing? If you were to be walking down the street, you don't, people are not gonna walk around their bras and stuff like that. So if you was walking down the street and you saw a woman she wore and, and, uh, with uh, what? Not shirt. Pants, right? Yeah. A woman ain't supposed to wear pants. That's what the Bible says. So shorts, that's considered pants. A woman is supposed to wear that which pertaineth to a woman, which is what? If you go to a bathroom and it don't have no words on it, then, but you gotta, you gotta figure out which one is the men, which one is the women, the dress, right? So the woman is supposed to wear a dress. The Israelite woman is not supposed to wear pants. We're not supposed to wear shorts. A woman is supposed to have on a dress. And not just a dress, modest, watch this, uh, read the definition of modest. Okay, the definition of modest. The definition of modest. The term modest, fashion or modest dressing refers to a fashion trend in women of wearing less skin revealing clothes so modest clothes is less skin revealing clothes so like you're out today we can see your skin all your body that's not modest you know what i'm saying because that's for your husband like the, the clothes the, the, your body the your shape of your body because you wear not only dresses but loose fitting dresses because a man should not know the shape of your body that is only for your husband that's right you know what i'm saying the thing about a woman coming out in tight fitting revealing clothes is the man that when you walk by man you know the reaction you get from men in their mind they, are they thinking about oh i want to make her my wife they thinking 
I want to lay down with her. I want to have sex with her. And that's why on our community, we have so many baby mama, baby daddies, yeah. that type of situation because of this. You know what I'm saying? It, it starts with a simple change, a woman putting on a dress, a loose fitting dress. Now when you go out and walk around, men ain't looking at you like that. They Now they got to come get to know you instead of knowing your body figure. That's only for your husband. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we finish uh, first Timothy 2. Because that's one of the issues that plagues our community. Baby mama, baby daddy, because women dress like this and men in their mind, we ain't right. And so we land, like, the men are laying down with all other women. You know what I'm saying? And not taking care of the kids. You have a baby and then you disappear. You know what I'm saying? STDs, we got, uh, when you go around, we have the highest rates of STDs. You know what I'm saying? We can finish that before we finish. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. And shamefacedness means you're not up in men's face. You know what I'm saying? A woman shouldn't be in a man's face bucking all up, talking mess to him in sobriety. Our women shouldn't be out drunk. You know what I'm saying? High and drunk. That's not the way that an Israelite woman, a woman of God is supposed to act. You know what I'm saying? If you're out drunk and high, you can't teach people you can't teach the sisters what they need to know because you're not in your right mind. You know what I'm saying? If even a man, if the men are out here running around drunk, how can, do you listen to drunkards? This drunkards walking around the neighborhood. Who listens to them? Those are the fools. Those are compared to the fools in the neighborhood. And so that's why this Bible teaches you to be sober. The woman is supposed to be in sobriety. Um, keep going. With, with, not with parted hair or gold or pearls or costly array. And so your, 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 braids, your hair, your clothes, and all that, that shouldn't make you. The, what should make you is your, the, the fact that you are Israelite woman and you keep these commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.